Hey everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino, how are you today? It's Friday, March 9th, 2018. Um, okay, people, so apparently, apparently, we got some good economic news today with regard to these jobs numbers. All right, let's talk about what this news triggered. Well, Hopefully, again, you're watching this video right on my website, traderschoice.net. If you're not, please have a look at my website and go look at the chart of the bond market. You will see uh, a couple of big red lines. Now, this might seem kind of strange to some, but allow me to explain what's going on here. So this news triggered a sell-off in the bond market market okay so in this context okay this is where this becomes kind of like an art form when you see the bond market sell off on news like we're getting we got today and then you see stocks boom rocket up that's cash moving from the bond market making its way into the stock market you always have to look at things in context Okay, so this week, especially yesterday, we witnessed a propping up of the bond market, which was frankly off the Richter scale. And the desired effect was, again, to keep the stock market moving higher. Now that they have established this, again, see, the stock market is, is kind of like a person that needs to be repeatedly reassured. Think of it this way, that... Everything is going to be okay. It's like a, like a child. It has to be treated like a child. Market participants are like babies, all right? And they have to constantly be, you know, promised that things are going to be okay. You know, this is the truth. This was the message that the bond market was sending to the stock market all week. And I said to you last Friday that this market was going to be go up higher more than likely and that's exactly what has gone on now the market did not close yet obviously this is early it's 7 20 in the morning here on the west coast of the united states but i think this trend is going to continue and i have put my cash where my mouth is i posted these positions here all over my social networks at the time or darn close to the time i entered each one uh, this is the ticker symbol. This is uh, the expiration. And I, these are all just in the money. I always buy just in the money. Now, you can buy out of the money if you want. You can buy deeper into the money if you want. This is where it's really up to you to decide on risk. Um, you know, if you're buying out of the money, you're willing to take on more risk. And also, you can make more cash. You see how this works? Uh, if you're buying deeper in the money, less risk but less reward. So I kind of like skate along that uh, that fine line. And these trades right now are up nicely. You all are probably saying to yourself that know my work. Hey, wait a minute. Why is Greg doing this? Greg doesn't like to hold positions through the weekend, and you would be absolutely right. But like I said in yesterday's video, I am very bullish here on the market into next week. I think this market is going to gain into next week. So I want to jump ahead of that. Could I be wrong? Absolutely. I'm willing to take that risk right now. And we'll just uh, play this out accordingly. It's, it's that simple. I will not be closing any of these positions today. Generally, like yesterday, I entered a day trade, a two day trades. I posted the entries and exits. Did really well yesterday. I think I pulled out a 28% profit yesterday um, but today I'm gonna hold on to these through the weekend I, I'm just I'm just really bullish here. I'm obviously very bullish on financials XLF the financial uh, ETF JP Morgan JP Morgan and then also SPY the ETF that tracks the S&P 500 so let's keep an eye on this people today um, very very important there's a lot of cash to be made here the dollar is weaker as well that's bullish People keep asking me that. Why is a weaker dollar bullish? It's very simple. The weaker dollar is good for multinational companies. And the market is supposed to, well, in a real market, uh, be responding to earnings, which I can pretty much 
put your, your minds to rest and, and tell you that however it happens, whether they rig these numbers or whatever it's going to be, earnings are going to come in good. That, that's just the way they say The market's fake. You know that. They, get, they have to maintain the facade. You got it? And that's what they're going to do. So you and I, our strength is knowing how fake this all is. It's the truth. Metals are higher today. Who knows what they're going to end up doing to these things. I don't care. You know that these are long-term investments. They're not trades. You just hoard. You bet against the debt. You become your own central bank since day one. I've been saying this, and that will not change ever. Um, all right. So with that said, we're going we're gonna to put all this together at the end of the day. It's going to be a fun wrap-up, and I will see you then. Over and out.